today's uh, discussion on serology that is introduction of ABO and RHD blood group system. So before we go for the ABO and RHD blood group system, let us uh, think what the blood is reading. The blood is a specialized body fluid in the animals that delivers necessary substance such as nutrients and oxygen to the cells and transport metabolic waste products away from those same cells. In vertebrates, it is composed of blood cells suspended in a liquid called blood plasma. Vertebrate blood is bright red when its hemoglobin is oxygenated. Normally, 7-8% to 8 of the human body weight is from the blood. Blood is a highly specialized tissue composed of more than 4,000 different kinds of components. Four of the most important ones are the red cells, technically known as erythrocyte, white cells, leukocyte, platelets, thrombocytes, and plasma. Blood is circulated around the body through the blood vessels by the pumping action of the heart. The essential fluid carries out the critical functions of transporting oxygen nutrients to our old cells and getting rid of carbon dioxide and other waste products. In addition, it plays a vital role in our immune system and in maintaining a relatively constant body temperature. Blood is highly specialized tissue composed of many different kinds of components produced in the bone marrow. All humans produce these blood components. There are no populational original differences on the blood components. Red cells or erythrocytes are relatively large microscopic cells without nuclei. These cells normally make up 40 to 50 percent of the total blood volume. They transport oxygen from lungs to all the living tissue of the body and carry away the carbon dioxide. The red cells remain viable for only about 120 days before they are removed from the blood and their components recycle in the spleen. White cells or leukocytes exist in variable numbers and types but make up a very small part of the blood volume, normally only 1%. Most are produced in our bone marrow from the same kind of stem cells that produce red cell. Some white cells called lymphocytes are major part of the immune system. Individual white cells usually only last 18 to 36 hours before they are also removed by the system. Platelets or thrombocytes are cell fragments without nuclei that work with blood clotting chemicals at the site of the wounds. They do this because adhering to the walls of the blood vessels thereby plugging in the rupture in the vascular wall. They also can release coagulating chemicals which cause clots form in the blood that can plug up, narrow the blood vessels. Plasma is the relatively clear liquid protein and salt solution which carries the red cell, white cells and platelets. Normally, 55% of the blood's volume is made up of plasma. About 95% of it consists of water. As the heart pumps the blood to sail throughout the body, the plasma brings them nourishment and removes the waste products of metabolism. Plasma also contains blood clotting factors, sugars, lipids, vitamins, minerals, hormones, enzymes, antibodies, and other proteins. Sometimes, when the blood of two people is mixed together, it clumps or forms visible island in the liquid plasma. The red cells become attached to one another and this is known as agglutination. When different types of blood are mixed within the body, the reaction can be bursting of the red cells as well as it calls agglutination. The compositional difference between the blood types is in the specific kind of antigens 
found on the surface of the red cells. Antigens are relatively large protein molecules that provide the biological signature of an individual's blood type. Within blood, there are substance called antibodies, which distinguish particular antigens from other, causing bursting or agglutination of the red cell. When aligned antigens are found, the antibodies bind to the antigens. In the case of agglutination, the antibodies glue together the antigens from the different red cells, thereby sticking the red cells On the basis of this agglutination factors, many blood groups have been identified. The most well-known and medically important blood types are the ABO blood groups. They were discovered in 1900 and 1901 at the University of Vienna by Karl Landsteiner comprising A, B and O type. Subsequently, Discovery of the subdivisions of A as A1 and A2 and A3 have been found in the different parts of the population. All humans can be typed for ABO group. There are four principal types in ABO blood group that is A, B, AB and O. There are two antigens and two antibodies that are mostly responsible for the ABO types. The specific combination of these four components determines an individual's types in most cases. For AB group, the nomenclature had been designated as the presence of either A antigen or B antigen as A blood group and B blood groups respectively. On the other hand, both the antigens are present termed as AB blood group, while absence of both antigens are known as O blood group. Therefore, for ABO blood group system, there are two antigens are A and B along with two antibodies anti-A and anti-B. ABO blood types are inherited through the genes on chromosome 9 and they do not change as a result of environmental influence during life. The mode of inheritance, an individual's ABO type is determined by the inheritance of one of three alleles that is A, B or O from each parent. The possible outcomes are as follows. The mode of inheritance of ABO blood group demonstrated both A and B alleles are dominant over O. As a result, individuals who have AO genotype will have an A phenotype. People who are type O have OO genotype. In other words, they inherited as a recessive O allele from both parents. A and B alleles are co-dominant. Therefore, if an A is inherited from one parent and a B from the other, the phenotype will be AB. Agglutination tests will show that these individuals have the characteristics of both A and type B blood. Interestingly, observation on Bombay phenotype, that is OH, observed have provided valuable insight in genetical pathways involved in the synthesis of one of the ABO blood group antigens. Several associations between the ABO blood groups and various diseases have been reported in the literature. Worldwide distribution of ABO blood group revealed Kleiner distribution in terms of frequency of A blood group in the western part of the world and progressive increase of B blood group in the eastern sector of the world and O blood group being features in the North America. In Indian context, average value of B blood group is higher than the A blood group but overall frequency of O is the highest. 
Now we are shifting towards the Rh blood group. The Rh blood types were discovered by Carl Landsteiner and Alexander Weiner in 1940. This was 40 years after Landsteiner had discovered the ABO blood groups. Over the last half century, we have learned far more about the processes responsible for Rh types. This blood group may be the most complex genetically of all blood type systems since it involves 45 different antigen on the surface of the red cells that are controlled by two closely linked genes on chromosome number 1. The Rh system was named after rhesus monkey since they were initially used in the research to make the antiserum for typing blood samples. If the antiserum agglutinates with individual's red cell, then that individual is Rh positive. If it does not, then it's Rh negative. Despite its actual genetic complexity, the inheritance of this trait usually can be predicted by a simple conceptual model in which there are two alleles. One is capital D, one is small d. Individual who are homozygous dominant, they are capital D, capital D, or heterozygous, they are capital D, small d, are Rh positive. Who are homozygous recessive, they are small d, small d, are Rh negative. That is, they don't have the key Rh antigens. The role of this blood group system in hemolytic disease of the newborn, that is HDN, or erythroblastosis fetalis is one of the greatest advancements in the medical genetics in human serology. Over the last half century, we have learned far more about the processes responsible for the Rh types. Subsequent development of races group demonstrated apart from capital D antigen, there are two closely linked, that is capital C and capital E antigens and becomes as C, D, E systems, which present combinations of the haplotypes, which is actually the haploid genotype on chromosome number one. Inheritance pattern revealed that capital C, capital D, and capital E antigens are dominant over small c, small d, and small e antigens respectively. Therefore, anthropological interest of these blood group systems widens the scope of the effective polymorphism study towards selection and maintenance of polymorphism. Then the distribution of Rh small d alleles, that is Rh negative, ranges rather high frequency in Europe, while towards Asian population it is found to be very nominal. In Indian context, Rh d that is Rh positive seems to be a very high frequency, almost over 80%, while RSD, that is RSD negative, is found to be less than 30% in South, West and North India. On the other hand, East India represent about less than 15% of the RHD negative. So in the conclusion, we can say that the blood is an important connective tissue. Apart from its universal nature regarding components, antigenic determination is related with inheritance pattern and thereby very useful polymorphic trait for population classification.